Hello everyone, I am the Beat Blonde and welcome to the World Summit. Today I am interviewing Inzi, founder of the Metaverse Summit. What a pleasure. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit of your background, please? Thank you so much for the kind intro. It's been a blast in WOW Summit. It's really a wow. So my name is Xing Yuan. Uh, from China, based in Paris. I used to be in entertainment tech and gaming industry, worked for VND and uh, Ubisoft Innovation Lab. So afterwards, I dived all in to Metaverse. So uh, founder of Metaverse Summit, we're also launching a Metaverse incubator for early stage Metaverse infrastructure startups. Wow, that's impressive. It's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, what do you think about the future of Metaverse? Yeah, sure. So um, it's a really, really early stage as of, uh, uh, you know, we're talking today. Um, all the metaverses we are seeing are still in development. Uh, I see there is a bright future of uh, a different uh, interoperable metaverse, meaning that uh, today we are seeing you know, Fortnite as a gaming metaverse prototype. We also see Sandbox, Decentraland, that are like blockchain native metaverses. But uh, we still don't have a certain level of uh, standard or uh, tooling or services uh, as of how to build experiences, how to actually um, encourage creator economy. So um, I think we are really, really early and uh, the different uh, actors in the industry, uh, entrepreneurs, investors, big corporates, they're all working towards you know, building uh, the creator economy to a dynamic and uh, um, open approach. Wow. And would you explain the difference? Like, because many people think Metaverse is a game. What is your opinion on that? Like, is it a game really or just like community? Uh -huh. So, definitely, this is one of the uh, very uh, usual questions because uh, we are pretty familiar with the gaming industry. We know how the game mechanism works. Uh, there are a couple of major differences, either from a production level or from distribution level or from a, you know user consumption level. Uh, from a production uh, point of view, we see that um, the metaverses are encouraging more creator economy, providing tooling and platforms and ecosystem instead of really you know, uh, this designing uh, the game from the very beginning, uh, top-down approach, uh, having a maybe more designed game uh, development uh, uh, pipeline before you know the actual communication and any launch. So in the traditional game industry, it's kind of like a usual when you are uh, under a development of a video game, you wouldn't even disclose the storyline or character. Uh, uh, the launch is supposed to be, you know, kind of a timeline and a surprise uh, to the activation of uh, the gaming community. However, Metaverse is more like, okay, the creators can actually have their own um, community and uh, they can leverage the existing IP or create the new IP. So that is from a production point of view. From a distribution point of view, we can see that um, we have the uh, monetization model of uh, gaming, right? Either your subscription or microtransaction or one-time uh, purchase of uh, gaming. Um, that is like a very traditional gaming model, but in metaverses we can see uh, the ownership of uh, different uh, interoperable assets and also of course NFT which is still of course pretty early um, so we have a community around those uh, ownership and assets also we can encourage the secondary sale of those digital assets um, it wouldn't be like uh, in the traditional gaming that one-time usage of uh, in-game assets once it's uh, purchased, one is um, used, you have no utility anymore, right? So from a consumption point of view, um, I do think uh, we have this new uh, idea of creator slash players. Before we only have passive players who are um, spoiling the storyline, either socialization in a certain game, uh, it's uh, recent also that in gaming we have multiple player uh, real-time interaction. Uh, like, uh, you know, Fortnite has been doing a lot of social events as well. But in Metaverse, it will be such a usual thing. 
it wouldn't be like an occasional uh, activation anymore. Also, people are um, free to create their own social events. So, uh, in a certain point, it is also encouraging long tail consumption uh, in metaverse uh, sense. Uh, you are not obliged to follow only the big productions. So it is a social network. It is a new type of uh, socialization, I would say. Yes. Uh, yeah, people, of course, don't think about it that often. But we also are waiting for the new era of hardware, the human machine interface, right? Uh, we talk a lot about digital economy and blockchain, uh, but uh, also from a user point of view, sometimes the infrastructure level innovation, they wouldn't have a clear idea. But when they're interacting with each other, when they're interacting with the social network, they are more curious about you know, what is their actual user experience. So hardware innovation, uh, it's also an important part of it. And being a woman leading this kind of project, uh, I feel like very honored to talk to you today because I stand for women in Web3, women in business and everything. And what is your thought being like, about being a founder and all this power? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Well, um, in the industry, I've been seeing so many amazing female entrepreneurs and uh, a lot of uh, very inspiring uh, ladies. So I feel actually very inspired myself. So I feel very lucky to be working in the industry. Um, I'm trying to give my small contribution of it as well. We were organizing a couple of different events, either panels to showcase you know, really thought leaders, but also entrepreneurs. Uh, and we are also actually really uh, organizing some meetups to encourage people to actually meet up and uh, to communicate, to build something together. So the idea is really not to exclude male, but to you know really showcase and yeah. uh, discuss. Right? Uh, I understand. That's uh, very important. So as, uh, um, so for me, really, it's very important. Uh, for the metaverse vertical, uh, you know, instead of Web3, because we are talking about use case level, right? We are uh, not talking about only, you know, infrastructure, or blockchain. We are talking about real life. So I think ladies do have a better understanding and compassion uh, regarding that. So while we are going to market uh, at the current stage of uh, stage of art we do need more female entrepreneurs in the space. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your time today and clarifying on everything, sharing your knowledge. I do like agree with you. It's very important for us to show up. Just the fact of showing up, it helps the environment. Thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.